Hello and welcome back to Krista Butcher and Friends. But wait a minute, there's something missing, isn't there? That's it. Oh, yeah, and it's time for... Krista Butcher's Super Cool Review! What have we got in store for today? Well, you've just had a sneak preview, haven't you? It is, obviously, ah, Bisto. Chili con carne microwavable meal. Now, it's Bisto. It, this can't be shit, can it? Surely to God, it says there, made with 100% minced beef. <laughs> so look at the ingredients, it says minced beef, 6%. Right, £1.69, right? Obviously, Australian dollars. American dollars. What else? Canadian dollars. And Euros. Right? That's how much it costs in respective countries. So, where do we go from here? Hmm. Should we, uh i read a bit about it. Before we do, I've just clocked this on the side here. All right, it says, quality pledge. Ooh, very posh. Pledge. I pledge this. That this Arbisto chili con carne has no artificial preservatives, no hydrogenated fats, and it's 100% minced beef. Right. Is that right? It weighs 375 grams. Uh, right, it says here, right, minced beef and a spicy chilli sauce with kidney beans and red peppers served with rice. Uh, guarantee this product should reach in... Yeah, I'm fucking reading that shite. Bullshit, isn't it? Where's the ingredients? Here we are. Here we go. Chilli sauce, 60%. Contains water, tomato, beef, 16%. Onion, kidney beans, red pepper, modified maize starch, flavouring, tomato puree, rapeseed oil, cumin powder, <laughs> sugar, green chilies, garlic puree, coriander powder, salt, coriander, chilli powder, long grain rice. 40% Contains water, long grain rice Flavouring contains corn flour, salt flavouring Sugar, colour, ammonia, caramel Cat piss flavoured toffee Modified maize starch What? Malted dextrin I have probably said that wrong. In fact, I'm 100% certain I said it fucking wrong. Sunflower oil. <laughs> Try glycerides. Try saying that after 17 bottles of fucking Stella. Fucking try saying it with no Stella. I struggled then, didn't I? Uh, oh, oh, sorry. Try triglycerides of middle chain fatty acids. Total meat content 10%. Yay! Where's this 100% fucking shit beef come from then? Someone's going to bollock me, aren't they? Say, so Chris, you're entertaining, but you're a thick cunt. <laughs> I can't remember who said it to me. Because uh, it's uh, all about fucking per fucking six grams per fucking stuck between your fucking tooth, isn't it? Now, it doesn't actually say... There's got to be allergens in there, but normally on the ingredients list, the allergens... It's in bold, or in capital letters, but none of it is. So you're not telling me there's no fucking allergens in this. What's a fucking Triterosops fucking middle of the chain wank stain? Is that not an allergen? Because I haven't got a fucking clue what it is. If any of you lot know what that is, just fucking tell me. Because I'm not Googling it, because I can't be fucking asked. It's me eating this shit. <laughs> not you. But you might do. It might be all right, eh? May also contain nuts and sesame. What, Big Bird and fucking Cookie Monster? Oh, Sesame Street, innit? I fucking hated that as a kid. 
Right. I'm 40 year old, right? And as a kid, I grew up with Sesame Street and the Muppet Show, right? I'm going to do a little poll up here, right? What's your favourite? Because you didn't like both, you liked one or the other, right? Mine was the puppet, the Muppet Show, right? So I'll be clicking the Muppet Show. So it's either that, the Muppet Show or the wank Sesame Street, right? Pull. Pull! All the extra care has been taken to remove bones, some small bones may remain. Obviously, they have to put it just in case you're choking a fucking... Because there's that much fucking beef in there. I won't be surprised I get a fucking cow's hoof stuck in my throat. There it is. Right. Cooking instructions. For best results, cook from frozen. All appliances vary. Right. You can cook this in the oven, but that's not what we're doing. Because, you know what I mean? When you come over at pub pissed up, you don't want to be touching that fucking oven. The microwave is the way to go. Right. Remove outer packaging and peel lid S uh, several times. Right. There we go. Fucking magic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I paced it ten times, but I don't think that's enough. I think it's going to fucking explode. But anyway, got to get in my microwave now on full power for five minutes. In you go. Five minutes. Go! Fucking magic. <laughs> Back in all that salt. Right, next instruction is peel back the lid if you can. Hey! 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 Right. My glasses have gone. Stir it. The best. Oh, I think I'm losing half of it. Oh, the rice everywhere, you bastard. Right, that's the best I'm doing with that, right? Recover. And bang it back in microwave. For another four minutes. Fucking magic. Well, there it is. Now, according to the instructions, I've got to let this stand now for a minute. Now, what am I going to do for a full fucking minute? Mmm, I know. Well, I tell you, Louise has just had the best fucking minute of her life. Incidentally, I've got three kids, right? And it only took three fucking minutes. You fucking show off. Mmm. Quickly, what do you call a Yugoslavian prostitute? It's easy. It's slobber robbing nob, you bitch. Right, let's get this off. No, not the camera again. Now that is done, it's still piping hot. Right, I'll tell you, let's go for the smell first. Well, here we go. Taste test. As you can hear, <laughs> I've got Kieran. So I've got the kitchen door open so I can hear him. He's sat in his, uh, his baby car at the minute, running over everything and trying to rip the telly off the wall and shit. Oh dear. Well, we better make this quick, haven't we? Look at that. Mmm. Do you know what? For one pound sixty nine, like I, I say this every time. The rice are like pellets, but they actually it actually taste of chili con carne. Fucking unreal. You know what? After a night out, I would definitely eat that shit. 
but that wouldn't be enough. You know what I mean? You'd have to, I'd have to put, I'd have a pan full of that shit. But that's because I'm a fat bastard. So yeah, what should we say? Taste wise, I tell you what, taste wise, so it burn it back in my throat, that bastard. Seven out of ten. Presentation, yeah, it's pistol, is it? It's got to be good. I'll tell you what. Yeah, yeah. All up, overall, I'm going to give that seven out of ten because that weren't bad at all, especially for price as well. So uh, anyway, I'm going to leave this taste test here because I'm going to sort out Kieran. Well, he weren't settling, were you, lad? Eh? Right. Well, that was my Bisto Chili Con Carne review, and it was really, it was really, really good to be honest with you. Uh, not as good as that big shack kebab. Now that was fabulous. Are you waving, son? He's waving. Yay! By the way, if you've not met him yet, you're a new subscriber to our family. This is our son, Kieran. You're a beauty, aren't you? You just don't like being put down, do you? Right, if you like that episode, press like. Comment. I'm going to change it today because he's on my wrong arm here. And subscribe. Can I frighten you then? Oh, and become a member of hashtag Team CTB with me, Little Kieran. Hello. All our other subscribers, where you're my brother, you're my sister. Hey, and guess what, Kieran? I love you.